I don't know, Jay. What? What the fuck? What are we supposed to do? What's happening? Dude, I've got like a million thoughts in my mind right now at once. And because of that, nothing's coming out properly. That's depression, right? So then we just end up saying nothing instead. It's like all these pebbles are buried on top of me. All these tiny pebbles, thousands, millions of them are on top of me. And the pressure of all these pebbles is too much. And I'm overwhelmed because I can't lift all this shit. The key is to pick them, pick them apart one by one. You keep saying in this fucking video that you want, you're in the elevator with this person, just why won't you just talk to me? Why don't you just open up to me? Dude, that's the mentality of the ages. That's what's been going on for ages. It's up to us. All you got to do is start talking to them. That's it. Just start explaining something. Just start telling them what you're thinking. They'll look at you like you're crazy, but only because it's different. Well, you I mean, it is crazy in that it's different than the social norm. People are, we've been trained by our school systems, we've been trained by our parents who are like war veterans or, or the children of war veterans to not approach people openly. We're, this is, we live in a militaristic society because the United States is so warlike. So it's all like conflict based. Everything is like wait and watch and see if you get what you want and if you do let it go but if you don't take it go and take what you want we don't live in a society where it's offer what you have and let people be what they are and that's what I want society to be that's what I want society to change into that's what I'm changing into so I think that's what society is changing into as long as I keep doing it as long as I keep changing into it and I keep showing myself to people and keep expressing it then society will change into that and all you people that say it's not going to happen, what is wrong with you? Come on. Whatever is going to happen is whatever we want to happen. That's saying it backwards. But what we want to happen, what we believe is going to happen, is going to happen. If we believe that the world's fucked, then the world is truly fucked. But if we believe that the world's going to change, then it's going to change. That's how things work. That's, we, we, we facilitate our reality. We create it. We, we manifest what we want and what we think is real. And the more people that hear it, the more real it becomes. When I say, I'm gonna book this job. If I say it in a video and a million people hear it and believe it, then that's, it's, it's more likely to happen. It's a million times more likely to happen. And it's the more people that, that believe something, the more likely it is to happen. The more powerful the belief the more real it becomes. I believe that this world is on its way up and not down. I believe that because that's how I feel. That's what I am. I'm on my way up and not down. I'm not falling apart anymore. I'm not suppressing it anymore. Now, I'm pushing forward and I'm letting it out. I'm not even pushing. You know what I am pushing? I'm pushing initially. I'm pushing myself in that I bring up my video program and I click the button. I'm pushing myself in that I went to Best Buy to buy a hard drive. I'm pushing myself in that I'm uploading it to YouTube. I made a YouTube account. I, I'm pushing myself in that I'm starting talking. I'm, I'm opening up the subject. But then everything else is easy. All this, all these words that are coming out, it's easy because I'm not thinking about it anymore. I've already done the work. I've laid the groundwork. I've done the initial difficult shit. And now, I can just be myself, I can open up, I can relax, and this is the fucking beauty of life. This is how it works. We think that it's easier just to not talk to people, so we don't. But I'm telling you, if you think it's easier not to talk to people than to confront something, when you confront it, that's what's difficult. Opening up, that's the difficult. After that, it's, e it's easier than anything, anything. Once you, conf once you confront an issue, there's no more work involved. You just keep talking about it. You just let it out. You're thinking all the shit already. It's easy to let stuff out that you're thinking. It feels great. It feels fucking amazing.
amazing. My hands are like all over the place. I knocked this off the chair just now in like a, in like a flailing madness, and I almost spilled this cup in, in more flailing mad, madness because I, my mind is like, and it's an explosion! I, like I'm, I'm going all over the place. I'm really letting it out. I, w I haven't made a video in a few days, really. Made that one on the 21st. How many days ago was that? Well, today's the 23rd, so it must have been two days ago. Tuesday. Today's Thursday, Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving to everyone in the U.S. Happy day that we're celebrating the uh, beginning of the slaughter of the Native American people um, to spread our white Western philosophies and our, to build our big machines that pollute the sky. But then at the same time, th you know, I want to celebrate the fact that we are where we are right now and we have something amazing. And I guess the day Thanksgiving is actually supposed to be a day where we are grateful for what we have, not necessarily reflecting on the Indians and the Americans and the war and killing and brutality. Today is a day of reflecting on how great things actually are in this world. And they are. And this technology is great. And people are great. Jay, you're great. I'm looking at your face right now. I watched your video, your 15, 16, 16 minute and 6 second video. And it was good. It was a lot of storytelling, which I don't really get into as much because I like to hear about what you're thinking. But I like that your story illustrated people and how people can connect, even though it was about giving beer at 75 miles an hour on a freeway. <laughs> it's fucking crazy, dude. It's intense. But I liked what you were saying about it. I mean, I just feel your fucking frustration. I can't wait till you get back to LA. We'll hang out. It'll be a good time. I know you have a lot to say. I feel it fucking brewing. I feel it coming out in these unfocused bursts. I feel myself reciprocating that. Um, so, I don't know. Should I make my videos 15 minutes long? Or, or should I make them 3 minutes long? Should I just not give a fuck? I do give a fuck because people mention it. People say your videos are too long. But only a few people. So maybe it's just people with short attention spans. And why do people have short attention spans? Because they're not used to it. So yeah, I'll talk for however long I want to. Get used to it. Get used to listening. That's what life is about. 50% of it anyway is listening. This YouTube is a great tool in listening. I'm so used to talking, talking, talking that it's not e it wasn't easy to listen, but now, now in life, now, I understand how to listen. You just got to make yourself do it. It's awareness. You have to realize that you're jumping on people, that you're shutting things off because they're going on too long, because they're not going on too long. And don't, you probably want to shut this off right now, maybe, because it's not sitting well with you, because you think it's boring, but it's not actually boring. That's fear of accepting the situation. You know what? Go back and rewatch what I just said and don't let yourself, don't let your mind trail. You have a difficult time listening. I have a difficult time listening. It's human nature. But make yourself do it anyway. Really listen to the words. Get lost in it. Experience it. And then the next time you're in a situation where you're having a conversation, make yourself do it again. Let the person talk because I'm telling you, you'll learn just as much from watching, listening to someone talk and watching them talk as you will from speaking. It's just you learn in a different way. But you, you you're, don't worry about what you were going to say. Listen, take in the moment and then bring out something new and the conversation won't stop. It will flow and amazing things will come out of it. It's not the specific things that we need to say. That's not how we grow. It's about something coming out that we didn't even realize was there because we listened and it changed. Our minds change. What we're gonna say changes and amazing fucking shit comes pouring out of us. Like this video, I'm gonna go back and watch it. I'm fucking excited to watch it. I feel like I've been so depressed. I was like, I, I feel like I just didn't really have anything to say these last couple days. And, and I've played a few video games and like Amanda's gone. This is depression. I'm starting to feel the depression. I'm starting to feel the isolation, being alone. And if you let it happen, if I let it happen, man, that's just depression waiting. So I'm so glad I watched your video just now. Gee, I haven't watched it yet. I didn't watch it yet. I watched like three minutes of it and then paused it and got distracted. 
it's important to make yourself listen. It's important for me to make myself listen to people, to watch videos, to let people speak in conversation, to be told things, because I need that. I think we all need that. I know that we all need that. That's human nature. Belief is a powerful thing, and I believe it, so it's real. Rhetoric, rhetoric, rhetoric. Preaching, preaching, preaching. Fuck that shit, man. I believe this for real. I'm taking this stuff to the grave with me. But not take it to the grave in that I'm not going to talk about it. I mean take it to the grave in that I'm going to talk about it, I assume, until I die. Maybe not, but I don't see why not. Why would I stop? Why would we ever stop? Why would we stop pushing? Why would we stop aggressively communicating with people? Why? Why? Fear. Why live in fear? Why? Why? There's no reason for it anymore, you guys. Come on. We understand it now. We see it. We know what's going on. I know what's going on. It's time for this shit to change. It is time. Now. There is no other moment. Happy Thanksgiving to anyone that's not living in the U.S. Happy Thanksgiving. It's all the same. I wish we could get like a global holiday. That'd be pretty cool. We should. I'll be thinking about that a lot. I've never thought about that before until just now. A global holiday. See ya.